Do you want to learn how to monitor EC2 logs automatically without having to manually log into servers? Well, in today's video, you'll discover how to install the AWS CloudWatch agent on an EC2 instance to automatically stream logs to CloudWatch. And once they're there, you'll be able to view the logs, search them, and also set up alarms. And all of this in a simple to follow worked example. So let's get right into it. Good question. Why would you want to ship your EC2 logs to CloudWatch in the first place? And it's true that you can manually log into the EC2 instance to inspect the logs, but this has some serious drawbacks. Firstly, the logs aren't backed up. Secondly, this means that if the instance terminates, you lose those all important logs. Thirdly, there's no simple way to view all the logs from all the different instances in one place. And lastly, it depends on someone manually logging in to see if there's a problem. Well, AWS CloudWatch solves all these problems, providing a centralized place to store logs, all accessible and searchable from the AWS console, and it offers these benefits. Logs are by default stored forever, and you can configure whatever retention time you want. One month, one year, whatever you want. Logs are also searchable, and custom metrics and alarms can be generated by automatically matching patterns that happen in the logs in real time. And here's some CloudWatch lingo for you. A log event is an individual log line or statement, and a log stream represents all the log events that have come from one particular source, such as a specific log file on a particular EC2 instance. And a log group, on the other hand, represents a grouping of log streams which share the same settings, for example, retention time. The best way to ship logs from an EC2 instance is to use the CloudWatch agent. And this is a process that runs on an instance and can be configured to ship any logs and metrics to CloudWatch. To get the agent working, you have to follow these steps, which are all covered in today's working example in the next section. You need to set up a role, and this role is attached to the EC2 instance to include the CloudWatch agent server policy. And this policy allows the agent to push the logs to CloudWatch. You obviously need to install the agent as well, and this can be done using RPM Red Hat Package Manager. And this is downloaded from an Amazon provided S3 bucket. And lastly, you need to configure the agent, and this is in the form of JSON, and this file must be supplied defining all the different logs to be collected, along with which log group they should be streamed to. And the CloudWatch agent itself sends the log events to the log streams it creates, following a naming convention that you specify. And once all of this has been set up, the CloudWatch agent will begin streaming new log lines as they appear in the configured log files. So to demonstrate how to use the CloudWatch agent today to stream logs, we're going to be setting up this working example, which contains an EC2 instance and a CloudWatch agent on that EC2 instance that's streaming the logs from the var log secure log file. And this log file contains authentication information, such as user logins and password changes. And then we'll be able to access the AWS console and see the logs in CloudWatch as they change. So if you want to follow along with this, you can launch this example by following the link in the description, and this will launch a CloudFormation stack within your AWS account. Just click the next button three times, then on the review page, check the checkbox to say that AWS can create IAM resources on your behalf, then click create stack. Just wait a few minutes until your stack is complete. And it creates the following resources, some of which we'll describe in more detail later, but it creates a VPC, a public subnet, an internet gateway and root tables to provide internet access to any instance deployed in the subnet, an IAM role with the already mentioned CloudWatch agent server policy, a log group, and an Amazon Linux 2 EC2 instance containing an initialization script that installs the CloudWatch agent, the CloudWatch agent configuration file, and all the configuration required for the agent to reload the config when it gets updated. And before we jump into the details here, remember that you can find all the CloudFormation in the description below this video. 
In the CloudFormation template EC2 instance resource, we provide the following user data property which defines a script to run when the instance starts. The RPM command, Red Hat Package Manager, installs the CloudWatch agent from a location that Amazon makes available in S3. We then call CFN init, which initializes any other files and commands that need to be installed on this instance. And this includes the start service command that you'll find on line 98, and this starts the actual CloudWatch agent service. CFN signal then tells CloudFormation that the instance was successfully initialized. The CloudWatch agent config file is output to slash opt AWS Amazon CloudWatch agent etc Amazon CloudWatch agent .json, and in our case consists of the following JSON. Collect list is a list of elements, each of which represents one log file to be streamed to CloudWatch. File path is the log location on the file system of the EC2 instance. Log group name is the log group to use and we reference a resource which is created in a different section of the cloud formation. Log stream name is the name format of the log stream to be created. We're using a combination of the instance ID and the log file name to keep it unique. Now you can follow these steps to see the var log secure log file from the EC2 instance in the AWS console. Go to services, then search or select CloudWatch, Click on Log Groups in the left-hand navigation, then select the EC2 instance log group. Now we're shown a list of log streams. There should be just one, so click on it. Here we can view and search the log events. We can see log statements to do with setting up the EC2 user, which is the default user on an Amazon Linux EC2 instance, and adding that user to various groups. Just for fun, Let's log into the instance and change the EC2 user's password and make sure it shows up here. We can create a session in the instance using the Systems Manager SSM Session Manager tool, which allows direct access even without public access to port 22 for SSH. Go to Services and search or select Systems Manager. Select Session Manager from the navigation on the left. This page lists any current sessions we want to create one, so click Start Session. Select the CloudWatch Agent Demo instance, then click Start Session. If your instance doesn't appear here, you may have to wait a few minutes. A terminal window opens up, allowing you to type in commands as though you had an SSH session open. Let's change the password of EC2 user with sudo password EC2 user. And once you've typed in a new password twice, this information should get logged in var log secure and streamed to CloudWatch. So back in the CloudWatch log stream, you should see something like this. And then password command has been executed to change the password of the EC2 user. In a scenario where you need to know about password changes, manually checking the CloudWatch logs is going to become boring very quickly. Fortunately, the clever folks at AWS have a solution for this with metric filters and alarms. And this allows the process to be automated and to receive an alarm when someone changes their password on the EC2 instance. And here's some extra lingo for automated log reviews. A metric filter allows us to match text in incoming log streams and create metrics from the matches and an alarm checks the value of metrics and when it breaches some threshold the alarm gets raised and can trigger certain actions for example sending an email. Here's the CloudFormation for two additional resources that sneakily I've already included in the CloudFormation template linked to earlier. The metric filter CloudFormation resource looks for any occurrence of the phrase password changed and creates a metric called change password when one is found. Metric namespace is a group into which metrics are collected. Metric name defines how the metric will be called in the metric namespace. The alarm cloud formation resource looks for any scenario where the change password metric is greater than or equal to a threshold of one. Evaluation periods is the number of times in a row that the comparison on the metric must return true in order to trigger the alarm. Period is the length of time over which the underlying metric is evaluated. Treat missing data defines what happens when there is no metric data for a specific time period. 
In our case, we set it to not breaching, as our metric filter only generates a metric when it finds a log event that matches the pattern. Back in our session manager session, let's change the password as we did in the earlier section. After some time in the CloudWatch area of the AWS console, the alarm will be shown in red, meaning it's in alarm status. Clicking on the alarm shows us that the changed password metric was indeed greater than or equal to 1. After some time, the metric will go back to the OK status. So hopefully you've seen that it's straightforward to stream logs from an EC2 instance to CloudWatch, providing a robust logging solution. And it's also worth bearing in mind that you can configure CloudWatch to also send metrics about your EC2 instance. This will allow you to monitor problems such as low disk space, high CPU usage, and much more. AWS metrics and alarms provide a way to be alerted when a log contains a certain piece of text you're interested in. And consider extending this example today by configuring your alarm to use a simple notification service. And this way you can set up email alerts so that you don't have to check the AWS console all the time. Thanks a lot for watching and if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe to hear about other interesting related topics in the future. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next episode of Tom Gregory Tech.